I could have done a better job throwing up emoji three times. They're out there and they hurt. Comments on your work can get nasty. How do you keep your head up while the trolls try to bring you down? Here are five ways on how to handle negative comments on your VFX videos. One, don't feed the trolls. Nasty comments can get under your skin. Things can get worse if you reply or engage the trolls. Do not do that. You don't need to answer or justify any of their comments. Even polite replies or explanations can lead to continued negative dialogue, which is the last thing you need. If you feel the need to reply, grab a pen and paper and write out your reply. Another way is to talk it out to a stuffed animal or an empty chair. You're expressing your anger, releasing the tension. You're doing it in a way that won't further engage the trolls. Two, hurt people, hurt people. This is something my therapist taught me. When someone leaves an angry comment, this video sucks, this is lame, they're projecting something. Your visual effects video has triggered something deep within them that is hurting. It could be that they wanted to create videos, but they never made them, so they're trying to bring you down to their level. Perhaps they've tried making these videos, but became frustrated and quit. So your video is their outlet for anger. Look, you're angry at the world. I guarantee that the person who posts a nasty comment on your visual effects videos has never attempted to make that kind of video. VFX creators aren't gonna bash your work. They're gonna celebrate it, ask how it was done. Remember, hurt people hurt people. Three, log off. I know, it's hard for us creators to remember this one, but there's more to life than our videos. When we pour everything into them, it's difficult to brush off exterior criticism. Nobody is more critical of our own work than ourselves. When a nasty comment triggers you, put down the phone, log off the laptop, and step away from the keyboard. Seek out an enjoyable activity that switches your headspace. Play with your kids or pets, go get some ice cream. Personally, I throw in the AirPods and take a walk when I'm triggered. Stepping away for as little as 15 minutes reduces your anger and allows that tension to slowly drip away. Don't go back to the screen until you've had time to decompress. What do you do when you're triggered? Let me know in the comments below. I am always looking for ideas. Four, prop up the positive. Creatives create in order to elicit an emotional response. We need people to see our work. We love when people respond, not so much when it's negative. Remember, there's a huge difference between someone critiquing your work so that it can improve and someone being nasty just because they can. For every one troll, there are dozens of people that love your work. Seek out those people. Go through past videos and read those positive comments. Better yet, reach out to an empathetic person that supports you, a friend, spouse, parent, or partner. Share what you're going through. The trolls can't damage your support system. A kind word or positive affirmation or a simple hug works wonders. Let me know in the comments who you turn to when you need some positive vibes. I turn to my wife, who is definitely the smart one in the marriage. Definitely. Five, show them what you got. There's no way that you'll win over the trolls. But if you're the kind of person that creates fuel from trolling comments, use that fire to start your next visual effects project. Stretch yourself, map out that technique you've always wanted to try. Each video that you make should elevate your skill set. Channel that anger into something productive that will take you to a new level of creativity. This may or may not be the tactic that I use when I'm triggered. Angry? No, I am not angry. If you need help leveling up your visual effects skills, check out Visual Effects Fundamentals. It's the program that I didn't find when I was starting out. The link to sign up is in the description below. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Negative comments are never about you. The only way they can really hurt you is if they stop you from continuing to make visual effects videos. Do not let that happen. I'm Robbie. I help creators and small business owners produce amazing videos by teaching them visual effects fundamentals. Subscribe for more. Mahalo.